Last week, Nevada lost a great statesman, and I lost a friend and a mentor. William Raggio was the longest serving state senator in Nevada history. He died last week while traveling in Australia. My heart is with his wife, Dale, who I spoke with, children Leslie and Tracy, and of course my thoughts go to Mark, the son that Bill lost in 2004. His six grandchildren, and they have a great grandchild. I hope it's some small comfort to know that all Nevada mourns the loss of this very effective, fine Nevada citizen. He was a second generation Nevadan, born and raised in Reno, Nevada. Senator Randolph Townsend said, and I quote, Bill was part of the fabric of the city, and that's really true. He lived to serve. In addition to his four decades of service in the state legislature, he volunteered to serve in the armed forces during World War II, enlisted in the Navy at age 17. The war ended before he graduated from officer training school. When he finished his service, he attended University of Nevada, then went to law school in California. He continued his service in the United States Marine Corps as a United States Re Reservist. He was District Attorney of Washoe County, that's the Reno metropolitan area, for 18 years, including three terms before he became a state legislator. He was president of the National DA's Association. He rooted out corruption wherever he served. There was nothing more corrupt in his mind and in the minds of all Nevadans than an illegal brothel. Now that illegal brothel went on by virtue of Conforti being able to pass out money to people for a long time. Bill Raggio was DA picked a fight with him. And that fight is legend. Bill got the last word. Conforti spent 22 months in prison for trying to bribe Bill Raggio. And in 1965, Bill Raggio, to get the last word, had the local authorities declare that facility a nuisance and burn it down. He was there watching the fire as it destroyed the place. It wasn't until 1972 that Bill brought his integrity and dedication to the State House as a member of the United Nevada State Senate. So for 38 years, there wasn't a piece of legislation that passed the Nevada legislature that didn't have his imprint on it in some way. He worked to help pass thousands of different pieces of legislation. He was an expert in the process. Nobody knew how to craft a budget better than Bill Raggio. He was a Republican who believed government should be lean but not mean. He was never afraid to work with the Democratic members, even though he was a Republican leader for several, several terms. Um, here's what he said recently, and I quote, I think the present leadership of the Republican Party is a little too radical and has been taken over by what I think is a radical element. That's the end of that quote. He went on to say in an interview after he decided to retire, quote, the party has to reshape itself or it won't win general elections down the road, end of quote. That's Bill Raggio, speaking as we should all speak, not as a Republican, but as a Nevadan and American. So it's no surprise to see outpouring of grief at the passing, at his passing, of Democrats and Republicans. No one has loved the state more or has been a more passionate that has had a more passionate desire to make things better for the people who live here, said Democratic Assembly Speaker John Oseguera. If there was a Mount Rushmore of Nevada politics, Bill Raggio's image would forever be carved there. That's what Republican Governor Brian Sandoval said. He also said Nevada has lost a great patriarch. So Mr. President, I would ask unanimous consent that I be allowed to enter into the record one, two, three, four, four pages of statements made by Nevada elected and appointed officials and just citizens of Nevada who thought the world of Bill Raggio. Without objection. He really believed in doing what's right for Nevada. 
even when it wasn't right for his political party. I admired him and respected him. I respected him even when he and I disagreed, and that happened. But we agreed far more than we disagreed. I can remember the first time I met him. The person that I worked for had worked as a deputy district attorney for Bill Raggio. And he came to visit me in my law office, our law office, and uh, he was uh, always very funny, uh, very, very articulate, and somebody I admired, and as I indicated, was my mentor. But I can remember his being in that office as about 10 minutes ago. Upon his retirement last year, Bill told a local reporter, nobody's irreplaceable, you'll see. And it seems once again, though, Bill and I disagree. No one can replace a Bill Raggio. The mark he left on Nevada politics could never be erased, but his powerful political voice and his true personal friendship will be missed. Mr. President, Senator Raggio was an effective legislator and leader in part because of his willingness to cooperate with those with whom he disagreed. It would serve this chamber well to emulate his bipartisan approach. 